Good day, everyone. It's been a long time coming, but at last we have our North Star Advanced Guide. Fortunately, this will not be our last Advanced Titan Guide as Respawn have just announced that they are releasing a brand new Titan in the coming months. And we certainly hope to hear more about that soon. As for North Star, we did some extensive testing, particularly around the railgun, and we have some interesting numbers for you guys to look at. So let's jump in. For those that are less familiar with this Titan, North Star is essentially a ranged damage dealer, with very high burst damage but limited defensive options. So we'll also look at how to stay alive longer, which is a challenge when playing this Titan. The North Star is a light chassis Titan, which means it has 7,500 health with an additional 2,500 in a doomed state. It also has two base dash charges, and these recharge slightly faster than other Titans, as is the case with Ronin after the last update. North Star also has an impressive speed when moving and sprinting. Other Titans, like Tone or Ion, are defined by their kits, but with North Star, most of the value lies in that railgun, so we went right in and looked closely at what it can actually do. Basically, it fires a projectile that has very slight travel delay. This projectile has no damage drop-off, and the longer you aim, the more powerful it becomes. From a base charge of 1 to a full charge of 6. When fired from the hip, the weapon can be wildly inaccurate, with a large spread. Now unfortunately, hitting critical shots still only does the 50% extra damage, and not anymore just because it's a sniper weapon. The weapon has 6 shots in the clip, with a snappy reload speed just shy of 2 seconds. This table here describes the damage and rate of fire for each level of charge. A shot at base charge will only do 550 damage, or 825 damage on a critical hit, while at charge level 6, which is full charge, it will deal 2050 damage, or 3075 damage on a critical hit. However, if we look at the damage per second column over here, we can see that due to the extra time it takes to charge each shot, the damage over time really doesn't go up that much. Yes, it is still worth charging the weapon up as much as possible, but it is more important to take the shot when you have the best chance of hitting than to wait until you get that extra little bit of charge. We can also see the least efficient charge level is 2, so try not to fire it off too much in that state. Despite very high burst damage, sustained fire from North Star has surprisingly low damage per second. This is very important to the tactics that you will use, because North Star cannot stand toe to toe with any other Titan in a straight up duel. You have to pick and poke, burst with high damage, evade and repeat. Prolonged engagements will mean your destruction. Let's move on to the rest of North Star's kit, which is generally designed to help you evade and prod your enemies with that 3000 damage a shot railgun which is, incidentally, the single highest lump of burst damage in the game. The Ordnance Ability Cluster Missile fires an initial unguided rocket that deals 300 damage, and subsequently fills the target area with explosions that endure for 4 seconds. The ability has a short cooldown of 8 seconds. We can see here that if an enemy Titan is fully immersed in the explosions, it will take around 900 damage per second, for a total of 3,900 damage. However, it is unlikely that an enemy will remain stationary in this field of death, so these numbers are very optimistic. If you take the payload perk, you can actually increase the duration of the residual explosions to 6 seconds instead of 4, and spread the area affected out by a very large degree. This will actually reduce damage due to the increased spread, but it makes it harder to evade and helps massively when you are using the ability to cover your escape or other forms of area control. As far as tactical abilities go, Hover can at first seem a bit underwhelming. This ability suspends you in the air for a full 3 seconds, but has a cooldown of 11 seconds. Hover helps you to shoot the railgun over cover instead of just around it, but it slows you down and you cannot dash or actually climb up on top of the buildings, which is a bit of a shame. This can also be used to evade area control traps, such as Scorch's Thermite or Tripwires from Ion. As for North Star's defensive ability, it is the only Titan that doesn't have a shield of some description to block damage. Instead, you have to make do with a tether trap that lays on the ground and is very difficult to spot. And when triggered by an enemy Titan, it will activate, pinning them to the trap for 5 seconds, or until they find and destroy it on the ground around them. 
The trap has a cooldown of 17 seconds, but this begins as soon as the trap is deployed. It is possible to take the Twin Tether Trap perk, which just makes it harder for the opponent to escape before their 5 seconds is up. This ability has two purposes, to either pin an enemy in place so they cannot escape your damage abilities, or to give you 5 seconds to run, escape, and reposition to take another few railgun shots before retreating yet again. In my opinion, the Flight Core is probably the weakest aspect of the North Star Kit. It suspends you in the air for 5 seconds, during which time you can rain rockets down upon your enemies. If you are able to hit all of your rockets, expect to deal 3000 damage per second, for a total of 15,000 damage. Now this is enormous, and it's enough to outright kill just about any other Titan. However, in reality, this is both extremely difficult and dangerous to pull off, as the target will evade and be blocking your attacks, and you are also very slow while in the air, so you'll find it difficult to chase or evade, and will probably take massive damage yourself as well. Let's move on now to some perk recommendations, and for the Titan kit I would say that Turbo Engine is definitely the best choice here. Northstar really needs to be more mobile than every other Titan if you want to stay alive, so you need every advantage at that that you can get. The Northstar kit itself is more difficult to select. I find that Viper Thrusters do not offer enough in the way of speed boost, and over penetration is too situational, as is the double tether, so those three I wouldn't normally roll with. I usually either run with either the augmented targeting or increased payload. I find both of them extremely useful, both to spot pilots and titans behind trees, etc. Or lock down an area to greater effect with your ordnance ability. As for how this all comes together, Northstar tactics really revolve around three words. Poke and run. This works as follows. Step 1. See an enemy. Step 2. Shoot said enemy with charged railgun. Step 3. Run far, far away. Step 4. Repeat. It seems simple, but actually doing this well is surprisingly difficult. Firstly, you have to have the discipline not to stay in an engagement too long. As soon as you start to take any damage whatsoever, you need to leave. Northstar simply does not have enough health to duke it out like everyone else. You also have to always have escape routes planned out. This means good map knowledge. The worst situation is one where you get cornered or pincered, and it is very difficult to escape from this. Putting meatier teammates between you and your enemies is also both smart and advisable. You can use both cluster missiles and the tether trap to slow down pursuers, to make sure you can get optimal positioning and are ready to shoot another 3000 damage at them as soon as they come around the next corner. You can also use the tether to pin a target, making it take the brunt of your cluster missile payload, your core ability, or just hold them still for other teammates. A big misconception that people have with Northstar is that they need to work at really long ranges. In the open at extreme range, Ion, Tone and Legion can all take you down, even if you are the so-called sniper class. Northstar is the king of burst damage, so use it. You only have to expose yourself around cover for a fraction of a second to fire a pre-charged shot. Cover is much, much more important than range. You are natively faster than almost every other Titan, and Ronin will lose most of its health to a single well-placed shot from your weapon, so don't be afraid to get close, as long as you have excellent cover and a clear escape route. Also, really try and avoid charging up that railgun in the open, when you can do it much, much more safely behind cover for the same effect. As for the core ability, you need to use it really carefully. And by carefully, I mean only when you are happy to lose your Titan. Most of the time, this core is the last thing a North Star does before it explodes. If you really want to bombard your foes with missiles because it's a lot of fun, do so from a flank, when they're distracted, and get up nice and close, so your damage actually counts for something. The last thing I want to cover is how to deal with pilots, because compared to many other weapons, the railgun with its tiny splash radius is terrible at it. You need to run away from multiple pilots, or kill them really, really quickly, because they will rapidly shred your health bar to pieces. The best weapon you have against pilots is your fists. Dash and punch is definitely the most efficient way of dealing with them. Cluster missile can also kill pilots in enclosed spaces, and it's excellent area denial for objectives and banks that are inside buildings. 
If you're trying to kill pilots at range, you should be taking railgun shots without charging because even a base shot will be able to insta-kill any pilot. So there you go, I encourage you to get out there and play North Star for a bit. It is a very fun Titan, especially if you have teammates watching your back. Just be super careful of not losing health to lots of silly little mistakes. You should go over and check out our other advanced Titan guides for all of the other Titans in the game now. And stay tuned for some more Titan 4-2 guides and commentary coming soon. Again, please subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more from us here at 4FS Gaming.